Warner, thanks for having me over, and good morning, everyone. Uh, so before I get started, a quick word about who Gandhi Nest is. We're a pretty old company. Um, we're a media company that's known for producing the highest quality lifestyle content. We have 18 consumer brands uh, that ranges from servicing everything from brands focused on entertainment and culture like Vanity Fair, technology-focused brand like Wired, and fashion-centered brands like Vogue and GQ. Uh, basically, we're something for everyone. So, so one of, we are the cool guys today in this presentation, I guess. So our job as the technology group within Condé Nast uh, is to provide the content makers at our company with the best tools to create content. And as you can see from this, we're not just a print company, or we were a print company, but now most of our content is distributed across all sorts of places. So we got to ensure that the, we have the platform and technology flexibility to enable this content to be distributed wherever our editors want them to be. And of course, we also continue to manage the traditional IT functions like HR and finance and sales. We got to do that to make money, you know, keep track of things. So as we move down this digital path, everything from creation through distribution, we started looking at our operations and seeing what we should be and shouldn't be in. So one of the questions we asked ourselves was, do we really want to be in the business of running data centers anymore? Uh, many of you here can attest, owning and running a data center is a whole business in itself, well, like AWS. Uh, and ha even having an in-house data center doesn't provide us with the agility and flexibility that we needed as we went down this digital path. So we decided the best option for us is really moving to a cloud solution. As with a medium-sized company like ours, it has, and a company that's 100 years old, we have complexity as anybody else has. Lots of servers, petabytes of data, bunch of networking. Well, we had to get all this done. And because of the time frames we had, we needed to really get this done in about a three month time frame, the actual implementation. Uh, we looked at a whole bunch of cloud providers. Amazon is one of them. We looked at capabilities, functionality, flexibility, and of course, cost. And we ended up balancing all of these that made sense for us. From every aspect, Amazon topped the competition strategically, technically, financially, and they provided us what we need to grow. Uh, we, want, we want a dynamic environment that adjusts as we want to adjust and grow and shrink as we want. Um, capabilities that extend not just for content creation but beyond that, and this migration gives us that flexibility. And of course, the added benefit is we get a fairly decent cost saving. We'll be down about 40% in an operating cost with our move to Amazon. We now have a platform that gives us the speed and tools to distribute our content in today's fast-paced environment. And we can also adapt as we need, especially as we grow down the digital side. The migration is now complete, about three months, maybe a little bit more than three months. Um, and one of the things I wanted to show you is, when you have a, now that we migrated, our data center is empty. And you all know what happens with empty data centers. Things grow in it. Uh, so here's a look at what my crack staff did last week. So 
So this move to Amazon Web Services really positions us well for the future. Thank you, everybody.